four-wheel drive brush rover by Oric is truly a beast of a machine, cutting through brush like a hot knife through butter. This 21 horsepower ride-on brush mower can tackle tall grass and thick brush easily with minimal physical strain to the operator. Whether you're a landowner, landscaper that maintains rural properties and vacant lots, organic farmer, specialty agriculture, or anyone that needs to maintain vast acreage of brush, you'll appreciate the Brush Rover's incredible productivity of over 2.1 acres per hour. Compared to a walk-behind machine that can only do half an acre per hour, you can imagine the huge savings of time and labor. Let us look at what makes this beast tick. The Brush Rover is equipped with an on-demand four-wheel drive system. It is designed to intuitively engage the four-wheel drive when the machine senses it needs the extra boost to conquer slopes or especially bullying its way through thick brush. Every Brush Rover is equipped with a sturdy knockdown bar that is designed to use the speed and weight of the machine to knock down tall brush and saplings before being cut down and mulched up by the rotary flail blades. The mowing deck itself is fabricated from a special alloy called Colton Steel that is not only stronger, but more corrosion resistant than regular steel. This 13 gauge steel does not require repainting and through a chemical process that occurs as it oxidizes, it forms a protective coating due to its unique chemistry. Another key feature of the mowing deck is that it is spring loaded, allowing the entire deck some give so it can float above any large obstructions it might encounter. Over here on the right side of the machine, we've designed an easy access hatch so you can examine the flail blades, spindle, and shaft. It's always a best practice before you begin using the brush rover to ensure that there aren't any wires, plastic, banding, or anything like that that might be wrapped around the specially hardened spindle and shaft to minimize or eliminate any damage to the unit. Make note also of our two highly durable flail blades at the end of our center blade. Not only are they designed to cut down tough brush and saplings up to two inches in base diameter, but they will easily mulch this debris so you will not have to go back to collect and remove any large pieces left behind. These flail blades have been designed to evenly disperse the debris under the deck so there won't be large clumps or furrows. By turning the debris into mulch, you can enjoy its benefits. That includes inhibiting future growth, enriching your soil, preventing moisture loss, and saving you the time and labor of collecting and removing the large debris simple rotary cutters will often leave behind. The unique design of the flail blades allows them to pivot when they encounter unexpected obstacles such as stumps and rocks to minimize damage to the brush rover. One more great benefit of our flail blades is that they have reversible sharpened edges and when one side becomes worn out, the blades can be flipped for a new sharp edge. Now sometimes you'll want to lower the rope system in case you want to put it into a trailer or it might be low or store it somewhere or even if you need to get under some fruit trees or low hanging branches in a park, just simply pull those out, tilt it down, then secure it again so that uh, the hardware is not banging around and hitting you. For easy changing of the rover's belts and maintenance of the brush rover, we've provided two access panels. The first one is right here on the bottom of the operator's compartment. And then the second is right underneath the seat. Now, the seat itself can be moved forward or backwards just by using the slide latch underneath. And the seat also has some other adjustments for your height and weight to make you more comfortable while you're operating the rover. While we're on the subject of operator comfort, the steering wheel can telescope to three different positions, although it will require you to use some tools. The steering wheel can also tilt forward or backward using this hand knob lever underneath the front cover. Also located on the steering wheel is this convenient speed knob that makes handling the brush rover a breeze, especially when making those 180 degree turns for tight areas or to turn the rover completely around and mow down your next path. 
On the operator's left side is the blade height adjustment. You can adjust the cutting height from six inches for your initial pass, mowing over thicker saplings and denser brush, all the way down to three inches for your second passes or when mowing lighter brush or grass. It's extremely important to raise the blade height adjustment lever over here to its highest position or the machine will not start. This is a design safety feature. You'll need to raise the lever every time to start or restart the engine. Once you reach the area you want to mow and you set your cutting height, this red lever engages the flail system to begin spinning. As a safety feature, there's a seat switch that is weight sensitive. When weight has been released off the indicator, the flail will automatically disengage. It can happen if the train is particularly bumpy or if the operator is really light. So then you just have to re-engage the flail by pressing it back down. The brush rover comes equipped with a locking differential that locks the rear wheels together so they move in tandem. This allows you to tackle steeper and more slippery terrain, as well as getting you through wetter and swampier ground. We recommend keeping the angle of the slopes you tackle to 20 degrees or less to prevent fluids from angling away from lubricating essential engine function. This big, tall red lever is the hydrostatic drive transmission lever. It is basically a gas pedal you operate with your hand. This lever is convenient when you encounter very stubborn brush. It is directly connected to a traditional foot pedal that will do the same function, so the operator has the option of either one. Next to the hydrostatic drive control lever is the black engine speed control lever. Once we start the engine and you are ready to get to work, Simply move the lever all the way forward to the high position. Up here on the four-wheel drive rover's dashboard, you will find a slope indicator, lights, key switch, and a choke on-off pull knot. Starting the brush rover is almost as easy as starting your car. Simply depress the brake with your right foot, pull the choke all the way out, turn the key and the battery will start the engine. Gently push the choke knob back in, and push the red engine speed lever all the way forward. And now you're ready to have some serious fun smashing down and mulching up that pesky brush that ruins regular lawnmowers.